slow down early on today? Yeah, I felt uh, we had a strong response today. We had a little bit of a cautious start, uh, hesitant sometimes, and uh, uh, but we didn't give chances away and uh, we grew into the game and slowly became better and better and in the second half I felt we were very strong, in extra time very strong, we looked always solid and dangerous, you know, because we played more in the second half and I felt as well that uh, it was a big test for us today because many, uh, uh, was a mental test because many people questioned that. Uh, can we turn up in an occasion like that? That's why I'm very proud for the players because uh, they shown the united, determined, and uh, playful response. Austin, some of the players have said following the, the match today that they want to win the tournament for you. Do you feel they need to prove something to you in this instance? No, they need to. I, w I want them uh, to enjoy to play together and to play for the club. That is for me the most important, and uh, to reach the targets uh, that we set for them uh, together. You know, football is a team sport, and as a manager, your biggest joy is when you feel you have a real team performance, and uh, uh, that was the case today, and that's why I'm happy today. Does that give you optimism and heart going ahead until the final and then next season? I don't understand your question. <laughs> Performance like that from the players, does that, does that give you a real belief? That you, you know, uh, I feel the club is in a very uh, strong shape and uh, uh, that we have a very strong uh, overall situation and a very strong team. We have shown that today. After that is for me the most important. One day I, I will leave anyway, so the most important is as well. Uh, uh, I'm sure Arsenal will always be a great club that uh, everybody admires. What day? <laughs> I don't know. Arsenal, after all the trouble of the past few months, you must feel a huge personal vindication today. <sighs> Honestly, I feel uh, when you see today, you watch the stands and uh, you see the, how, how big this club is. I, I feel just happy when our fans go home tonight and are happy. And uh, when I don't win the games, I feel sad because I don't feel that uh, uh, I give what people want, you know. We have gone through a very difficult period and uh, it was, uh, uh, we faced some adversity that made the situation more difficult from, from inside as well. But we shown a united response, response and not a divided response. But of course, uh, Mentally, uh, uh, you, we were in a fragile position. Playing through at the back, Arsenal, the players seem to like playing through at the back. When we got to Middlesbrough, positive result today. Had you played through in the back early in the season, is there a case mm -hmm. that your results could have been... <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I like your question because it shows exactly what our job is. No matter what you do, even if you get it right at some stage, people say, why did, didn't you do it earlier? You know? So it's like uh, the opposite is wrong is, is right as well. If you get your starting line up wrong, you change it at half time, people say, you see, he's a tactical magician because he changed the game team at half time, but they forgot that he got it, we got it wrong at the start. You know? So it's always, you can always judge on both ways. I think uh, what I did, uh, it's just to give a bit more security to a team. We conceded three goals in the last three away games at, at uh, West Brom, at Liverpool, at Crystal Palace. And at some stage, even to focus on something different for the players, uh, recreates uh, some confidence. Awesome. On that same subject, how do you, have you know, change it for the game? Had that gone wrong? Gone yeah, exactly. Today, you would have been criticised. Does that make it? One of, the, one of the gravest calls that you've made in recent years. And also to introduce holding to the team. I don't know. I uh, have to look back, you know. I, uh, during the season I made some tough decisions this, this season. Uh, we have gone through a difficult period. I don't know, but it's my job to try to get it right. And uh, when it goes well, you go, we, are, we are happy. Was it your intention before the Middlesbrough game to play a back three against Man City? Were you considering the Man City? I had it in mind. 
and did the Middlesbrough game, what convinced you then to, to stick with it? First of all, that uh, uh, we won the game, that the team uh, uh, got a bit confidence back. And uh, after when you analyse the game again, uh, you look where did we suffer, where were we good, where, how does Man City play, where do they play uh, through, and uh, can we cope with that? And if it, to me, uh, it was positive enough to, to try it today. Gabrielson particularly comfortable in that back three. What, what's been different about him? Well, uh, Gabriel is, has played, I think, uh, some positive games as a right back, and uh, uh, I felt that uh, covered by somebody has good pace, and that uh, today uh, I felt that he could intervene for Chamberlain on Sunny's ball through. You know, Sunny goes a lot in behind, and I felt that he had the pace to cover, to tackle, and he did that very well. Especially in the second half, I think he saved uh, three, four balls. Uh, so I just thought he was well suited for this position. In bit, he played right back, he played centre back, and uh, he plays uh, at the moment in a position that is uh, between the two. Thank you. Thank you.